technological progress that cuts down frictional resistance can lead to even bigger fuel savings. The air lubrication system is one of these technologies. As mentioned earlier, the frictional resistance of a ship is considered to be equal to the resistance of a flat plank with the same wetted surface area. The frictional drag comes from the contact between the water and the hull. That drag is actually stronger between solid and water than between solid and air or air and water. The ALS cuts down this frictional drag by putting air between the water and the hull's surface, reducing the area of the hull that's in direct contact with the water. That's why it's called the air lubrication system. The air acts like a lubricant between the water and the hull. There are a few ways to achieve this effect. One way is by injecting air under the ship to create an air layer. When the injection starts, the air forms a continuous layer at the bottom, separating the hull from the water flow. As more air is injected, it can maintain a fully continuous air layer over a large part of the wetted surface area, significantly cutting down frictional resistance. Another method, although less popular, is partial cavity drag reduction. Developed by the Russian Navy, this involves creating a cavity under the ship to form the air layer. Remember when you were a kid and you put a glass upside down in water and the water didn't get inside? It's the same idea, 